here we have an own class of cross encoders. And you see sentence transformers cross encoder or sport logo, please. All the credits go to www.sport.net UK PLAB. And please check them out. The, all the thing is from them. They are the creator. All the artificial intelligence knowledge is with them. So here we go. And there is, you can see that they have 29 models for cross encoder. And if you go there, expand our 29 models, you see, uh, as I told you, the first uh, after cross encoder slash here, for example, cross encoder NLI. Here you see our data set. This is our NLI data set. And then you have a um, BERT model or BERT modification model. And you have here an NLI, 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 you have here an LNI, and whatever. No, this was the wrong one. Sorry, I wanted, if I go somewhere, I want to go to a simple model, because let's keep it simple, a Roberto model. So here we go. So what we have here, we have here now a Roberto base model that was trained on an NLI dataset. And this is already provided for us. And you say, great. So let's do this. Let's train our cross encoder now on a training data set. And we downloaded our training data set. What we have is our train samples and our uh, evaluation samples. And as you know, we have bought a lot of them. And now we say, okay, we train our cross encoder on this training data set. And we use the NLI training data set that is available to you. So what we do, we say train batch size is 16, the number of epoch is one, and we want to save our model to a specific directory, whatever the name of your directory is. And then here we go. At first we have to define the cross encoder model. So we say the model we want to use for our NLI is distill Roberta base. Okay, distill Roberta base, sorry. I have the official Roberta. Where's my distill? Distill recently updated. Uh, most download, most likes. Should be under likes, I suppose. NLI distill Roberta base. Here we go. 329,000 downloads. Here we go. Here we have the file NLI distill Roberta base. Now, as you can see, this is already trained NLI on LRI, but we are doing it now ourselves. So we say, okay, we just have the cross encoder from our Roberto model, the still Roberto, the small model, the base version. And then we define a data loader. And this is exactly in PyTorch, our standard PyTorch data loader, where we have our training examples. So we say data loader, train example, you say, yeah, shuffle, please. And you have a batch size we defined here because we are working on Colab on a free Cola version with 16. Maybe you can try and go up to uh, 32, but just for demonstration purposes. So we have our training data loader defined. And then, of course, you remember we have an evaluation test data set. So we do an accuracy evaluator to measure the accuracy on this other part of the training data set. And there's a specific evaluator that is given to you within the cross encoder, within SBIRT, and you can use it. But what we do, we define the warm-up steps, we define some logging information, and then we say, okay, and now let's train the model. What do we have? We have the model. We have model NLI. This is our cross encoder distilled Roberto base model. And now we train this model, we fine tune this model on this specific training data set that we have in the uh, data loader, in the PyTorch data loader. We have an evaluator, the number of epochs. You can see the evaluation steps, the warm up, and we want to save the model that is finally then calculated. We want to save it on local or in the cloud because we want to reuse this model. And you see, I started yesterday doing this and I used the uh, official GPU that was available on the free Colab, our CUDA course, we activated. 
but you see that it takes here just for one epoch it takes about one hour uh, if you combine it uh, yeah you can say almost two hours for one epoch so let's say i don't know how many epochs you need 10 20 100 epochs one epoch two hours so this is a lot of time and a lot of money you have to do to invest to train your specific broad model because you have to choose a good model for your specific task and then you train it on the nli data set training data set so a lot of time a lot of resources or and this is here where we come back here to this cross encode and hugging phase this is the result some people were so gracious to do this calculation perform it on this data set and the result is published and you can use it and you can use it in a very simple way here this is now our second use already fine-tuned cross encoder a model available on hugging face and what you say is simply download the model the trained model from hugging face with all the data so you say cross encoder and then cross encoder for hugging face to know where it has to look the cross encoder and then you say nli this is my data set this is the still operator base so we do exactly this we say cross encoder nli the still operator base and you have the trained model on our training data set which is the nli training data set and we are ready to go this is our finally trained model where here we did not have the time to train it ourselves and then let's see if i think i'm working currently only on a cpu yeah you you download the cross encoder you download the model you download all the data and you should be able to do a model predict because this is what we want this is why we do all of this yes here we go no oh, great cpu based works fine so we have here a model predict what we have we have a sentence pairs Set the first sentence in the sentence prayer is good. Public policies should make society healthier, healthier, happier, safer, and more productive. And the second sentence, sentence two, if in sentence prayers now, social scientists can help. They can look for the causes that promote or prevent the outcomes. Just two sentences. And although this was trained on a very general data set, you see now for four sentence pairs the result and remember we have the label contradiction entailment or neutral and you can either look now and i recommend this at the direct scores of our four sentence so first line is sentence pair one with the first sentence and the second sentence of the first in the first line and you see if you have now contradiction is first entailment is second you have here minus two minus one and four so four is the, the the dominant value here the maximum value here in this list of our three labels and so the system says okay this sentence the correlation in the first sentence pairs of sentence one and sentence two in this pair is neutral so and if you just do a label mapping of the maximum you get the first sentence is neutral so you go to all the other sentences and you see everything is neutral everything is neutral why is everything neutral well we trained this system on a very general data set training data set an nli data set and as you can see i choose public policy as something and then i choose epistemology and i choose a little bit specific text you could even say almost scientific text which of course yeah so if you train your model on a very general training data set you will get results that are very let's say general very neutral as you can see now you can say okay i have a specific task and for this specific task i need a specific training data set a domain specific training data set where of course i run an nli stanford model no problem but i need to have a better quality a better resolution for domain specific data 
and this will be my goodness already half an hour in the video this will be the next video where i show you how to do this but this video was just to show you you can let's do it again download a data set this is for example all nli you can download you do with this simple code you get your data set you have here the structure of the training data set, sentence one, sentence two, and a label of three classes. And then you simply say, okay, I define here my model, and this model I train on the specific all NLI data set. And if you spend, I don't know, 20 or 200 hours of CPU or G no, GPU or TPU tensor processing unit training, you get a model or you download the already calculated model in a one-liner and you have all the results that you need. But of course, as you can see, you are more or less restricted to the models that have been already trained for you. And don't get me wrong, this is beautiful that we have for Cross Encoder 29 models already trained for us, hundreds and thousands of hours already compute time has been invested so you have models you can use right off the box and this is great and this is one of the beautiful things of hugging face but of course we are not satisfied with this because i will show you that if you have um, a cross encoder model with a specific training set training data set that we will construct you can get better results oops no we are here then just neutral, 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 where the system tells us, well, it could be true, but I don't know. I have not enough high quality data training set on this particular domain of public policy or I don't know, productivity or social science or whatever. So this is it for today. This is exactly 30 minutes in this video. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. It was about applying specific training data sets where a lot of people sat down manually, 2,500 people in our case, constructed a data set, a training data set, so a AI machine, a machine learning algorithm could learn on this data. And then we have here the beautiful thing that we have all this effort we can download in just one line of code. And we have all this information available for us. And this is the thing we will build upon in the next video.